A great American myth is that the U.S. Marine Corps has never lost a battle. This is false, although most losses occurred after Marines were ordered to surrender by U.S. Army or Navy officers. Other battles were lost when major attacks failed. Here are some battles lost by U.S. Marines. In the Battle of Blandensburg during the War of 1812, 114 U.S. Marines were part of a force of 1,000 regular American soldiers backed by 7,000 untrained militia. They repelled three attacks by 1,500 British troops before fleeing the battlefield. The British advanced to Washington, D.C., where they burned a number of public buildings, including the White House. When 5,900 Japanese troops invaded Guam at the beginning of World War II, 145 Marines, along with 271 sailors, made little effort to defend the island. They had no heavy guns or even mortars because the American war strategy called for abandoning the island. The Japanese landed on December 8th, resulting in a few skirmishes that left 13 Marines dead and 37 wounded. The U.S. Navy captain in charge ordered a surrender. One could argue the Marines should have put up a longer fight or disappeared into the jungle to fight as guerrillas. However, they were ordered to surrender. If the American war plan was not to defend the island, nearly all U.S. military personnel should have left in October 1941 when over a thousand American civilians were evacuated from Guam, leaving the 234-man Guamanian Insular Guard to maintain order. During the summer of 1941, 450 Marines with naval guns and 12 fighter aircraft were sent to defend Wake Island from a possible Japanese attack. Over 1,200 American civilian construction workers arrived to improve the base and build defensive positions. Soon after the attack on Pearl Harbor, a dozen Japanese warships arrived to land troops. The Marines sank two destroyers and the shocked Japanese withdrew without landing troops. They returned two weeks later with two aircraft carriers and landed 1,500 troops. The Marines and American civilians put up a good fight and the battle stalemated, but 398 Marines were ordered to surrender by the Navy officer in charge after the American Naval Task Force sent to support them withdrew. See the short video link below, The Lost Victory on Wake Island. The 4th Marine Regiment was withdrawn from guard duties in China to the Philippines just days prior to the Japanese invasion of the Philippines in December 1941. Marine Guard detachments from Malongapo and Cavite naval bases were added, and all Marines assigned to defend the key island of Corregidor in Manila Bay. It was thought the American Army could defend the Philippines for at least six months, but they held out just three months against a smaller Japanese force and surrendered after an incompetent defensive effort by General Douglas MacArthur. See the short video link below. The American Empire's disastrous defeat in 1942. After a brief fight on Corregidor, over 2,000 U.S. Marines surrendered as ordered. In 1944, the U.S. Army and Navy agreed to skip the invasion of the southern Philippines and land at Leyte in the central Philippines, with Navy carriers providing air support. There was no need to seize the Japanese airfield on the small island of Peleliu. But the Marine Corps had already assembled an invasion force and insisted the landing proceed. The commander of the 1st Marine Division, Major General William Rupertus, insisted that Peleliu could be taken in four days, even though he had little information about Japanese forces on the island. His division landed, and a month of combat resulted in 6,843 Marine casualties, almost half the division. The division was decimated and exhausted and could no longer advance. The U.S. Army's 81st Division arrived as the Marines withdrew and needed another 43 days to secure the island. Despite a massive advantage in firepower, the Americans suffered the same number of casualties as the Japanese defenders during this botched and unnecessary invasion. Battles were smaller during the Vietnam War, and U.S. Marines lost several. During Operation Union II, the 5th Marine Regiment located a large enemy force 1,000 yards ahead 
across an open rice paddy. After some air and artillery strikes, three rifle companies were ordered to charge across the open ground and were shot to pieces. The bloodied Marines fell back during this June 2, 1967 battle with 71 dead and 139 wounded. One month later, the 1st Battalion, 9th Marines, went up a road to find the enemy and found them. Bravo Company was quickly overrun, and the remnants of Alpha Company pulled back. Out of nearly 400 Marines, 84 were killed, 190 wounded, and 9 missing, making this the worst one-day loss for the Marines in Vietnam. On September 10, 1967, the 3rd Battalion of the 26th Marines was ordered to secure Hill 88 along a key supply route. It attacked and was surprised to encounter an entire Vietnamese regiment, which counterattacked, causing a bloody fight in which the Marines quickly suffered 300 casualties, including 37 killed. Several supporting tanks were destroyed as the battalion withdrew. In 1975, Cambodian patrol boats seized the container ship SS Mayaguez, which was the last American ship to leave Saigon. Surveillance indicated the ship anchored near Koh Tang Island, so the U.S. Marine Corps assembled a rescue force in Thailand. As 225 Marines landed on the island, most helicopters were shot up and disabled or crashed. The Marines were pinned down by enemy fire. It was then discovered that the Mayaguez crew had already been freed on a fishing boat, so the landing force was recalled. A total of 18 Marines were killed, 41 wounded, and three left behind in the hasty extraction. During its long history, there were smaller battles Marines lost, and several that some argue were lost. For example, the 1st Marine Division retreated from the Chosen Reservoir during the Korean War. But that was the plan, and this withdrawal was successful. The U.S. Marine Corps has an outstanding fighting record and lost battles only when overwhelmed or sent on missions against impossible odds. But the claim that U.S. Marines have never lost a battle is false. (laughs) 